Thanos demands your silence. But fuck that. It's time to talk. What's up, y'all? Yeah, uh, yeah, the movie, Infinity Wars, you know, came out. And uh, it made a lot of money, man. 500, uh, you know, might be, the, you know, the second highest opening ever. Five, maybe get to 500 million in its opening weekend. Um, yeah, you know, and people are arguing over there, man. Some people saying it's, it's the greatest movie ever. Some people saying it's the trash. It's, it, it's garbage, it, it's cap, it's everything, man, it's a dub. <laughs> Look, to me, the movie is excellent, you know, I know y'all was like, oh, you hate the movie? No, man, I, just, I was saying, man, that the movie was like an emotional roller coaster, and not because the movie was bad, or, or you know, um, I, you know, I said the movie sucked. No, the movie had me like it was so much going on on the screen that it was like, oh my god, like century overload. But I still like the movie, man. Um, this is a spoiler talk, so we're gonna get into right off. No, everything you need to know about this movie, starting off from the beginning, man. Well, well let's 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 talk about this. Uh, Ant Man wasn't in the movie. Uh, Valkyrie wasn't in the movie. The Hawkeye wasn't in the movie. Deadpool, X Men, you know, Silver Surfer, all these people wasn't in the movie. Uh, the movie, you know, just starts off, you know, right after Thor Ragnarok, you know, when uh, um, Thanos, uh, I guess, you know, blows up the, you know, Asgardian ship with all the, you know, Asgard's up there, um, and Thor is up there, Thor, Loki, uh, a lot of people's up there, you know, the Asgardians, um, Rexted, man, yep, you know, Thanos and the Black Order, uh, yeah. Thanos, you know, is about to kill Thor, crush his head, and Loki gives him the Tesseract, you know, with the stone in it. This movie was just visually incredible, and that's why I love this movie, man. You know, with all the stuff going on, and it's, you know, it's a lot to, to take in. Um, so I can see everybody, you know, how some people might not like this movie, and I, and I can definitely see how people like this movie, but I liked it. Because, you know, just seeing from 10 years, all the, they put all their, you know, hard work and, and effort and the special effects and the visuals and how how it looks, the music. I, I like this movie, man. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, he gets this, this, you know, one of the stones and, uh, you know, he kills uh, Idris Alba character um, because he sends uh, Hulk to Earth to get uh, help, you know. From the Avengers or anybody um, to help stop Thanos in the Black Order. Uh, yeah, and he he wrecks the Hulk, y'all. I mean, <laughs> you know, five blows and he's out, man. And through the whole movie, Hulk is scared. He's not coming out, man. He's, he's they have to uh, put um, Banner in, in the the Hulk Buster suit because Hulk won't come out. He's scared. He's like, no, I'm, he's he's scared of that because he hasn't hasn't had a defeat before. And a lot of people, a lot of people argue about that. Like, why is Hulk like this? Because he hasn't lost a match. Thor bodied him. I mean, uh, uh, Thanos bodied him, man. So, I mean, he even went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Thor. And, you know, it knocked him out and stuff. So, I mean, Thanos, like, uh, but yeah, yeah, he, he did that. Um, got help from uh, Doctor Strange. And Doctor Strange went and got help from Iron Man. And, uh... Spider-Man, you know, has a sense, you know, the sense, this can be all over the place, you know, I'm, I'm just popping things that I can remember. Spider-Man has a sense, gets his friend a distraction, gets out the, you know, uh, the bus to go help and go to the spaceship, wherever, you know, all the stuff's going on. The Black Order, you know, the, the mystical dude, I forgot his name, um, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Doctor Strange. This, this, is, this movie is like Doctor Strange and Thor's movie, man. They are top-notch in this movie, man. Both of their, their uh, you know, uh, both of them uh, scenes, with Thor, especially at the end, Thor and uh, Doctor Strange, they are killing it, man. Um, yeah, man, yeah. Uh, of course, everybody knows, you know, Thanos is trying to get all the stones for Infinity Gauntlet because he he just wants to see what he can do, man, and wants silence. He wants everything to, like, he's, he, he, he's a villain like um, Q 
kill him he thinks what he's doing is right and that, that's kind of a good villain man like when you when when you he's like what i'm about to do is is, is for the the good of the world or the universe or whatever he's he wants to wipe out half of the universe literally with snap of his finger um and then there'll be like no you know if he solved it it'll solve everything he's he, he's thinking like you know no war no this no that no this no disease no this it's boom and you know half of the universe um so he goes you know to everybody you know his black order to try to get all the stones together um like i said i'm going you know all over the place with thoughts and stuff um up the power level and op level of stuff i can see how people don't like that too man because in one scene with scarlet witch and uh vision you know they're together and the black order come to get them and they totally wreck them but then captain america and black widow and falcon comes and they like hold them off so i'm like how does that happen but you know if i, I I'll, I'll give it you know the benefit of the doubt because it's a story but some people don't like that i, I get it though i get it um yeah yeah it's it, and it's just like you know first thanos you know has th like thor in his head you know about to crush his head and then at the end you know he gets him but but i'll get to that in a minute um yeah like i said this is dr strange thor movie the scene the best scene to me in the movie man is the dr strange and thanos battle man when they're on titan and they are going like back and forth with their powers and stuff dr strange is throwing the prisms at him he's shattering it breaking it he's taking it the energy and throwing it back at him he's blocking it and turning it into butterflies and shit I'm like this shit is wonderful. This is like comic book, like <laughs> porn to me, man. Like this is so beautiful. And, like it's like I wanted more of that. I wanted like 10, 15 minutes of them just going back and forth. It's like a Dragon Ball Z fight and stuff. Like it was just awesome, man. They, they really did that with the visuals, man. That was so beautiful. Um, yeah, that, that them back and forth. Well, I could I could have watched this whole movie of that, and I'd be cool, man. Uh. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, he um, yeah, uh, they go to this planet where the little short guy from Game of Thrones is like a big short guy. He makes the weapon, he made Thor hammer, so he's there. They need you know to make an axe, the storm uh, breaker for Thor to use to you know kill uh, Thanos. And he does it, he has to hold this thing together and let the the beam of a dying star burn through him so he can melt this thing to make this damn axe and this is like he's like holding it and it's burning it like thor they really like in this movie if you if you didn't like people in other movies and say they won't you know shit and they didn't do nothing they really did something in this movie like there was so much on the screen with everybody and you know there's a lot going on i know but they had the they had these characters they had to use them man so i i, I was like i'm gonna use them it didn't feel like a over two hour movie man because there was so much going on it was like just action packed this stuff on the screen come on that's this and, that and this and this and this so there you go um and uh group had to cut you know his his own tree arm off to make a handle for it you know sort of use to use this uh storm uh breaker and he came in introduced what with these all these alien monster things and wiped them out and <laughs> it was just some some beautiful beautiful scenes in that uh, movie um yeah the, you know black panther did his thing and uh, on conda and they, they, that that fight scene on conda was awesome with everybody fighting um yeah the, the emotion of everything i was up and down about it with thanos like i i, I wanted a a ruthless Thanos, but like this, this is another thing, man. They gave him emotion out, you know, and made made had had you know had him get like heart and, and you know talking about Gamora and and doing this stuff. He he even had to sacrifice Gamora to get the soul the soul stone. He went to this um, place with the mountain and it was Red Skull guardian like a guard spirit or whatever. I don't know why, but he's Red Skull, y'all guarding the the soul stone he says you know a soul for a soul you got to sacrifice someone you love so he t takes Gamora, throws her off the cliff and then he wakes up and he has a soul stone so um he was crying and stuff i'm like did they have to do all this but i'm like okay 
you know, and people didn't like that. Maybe now, because I've, you know, some people sent me videos and different stuff and uh, different articles. If they, because this is the first time we've seen Thanos do stuff. Like he's always in other movies at the end, you know, looking, talking little seconds, sitting down, but he's actually doing stuff and talking more. Maybe if we had like a Thanos backstory movie or something like that maybe you know all this of him doing emotional stuff would have really hit me I'm like oh i can see this now but we just getting little pieces of it and i'm like it's okay but i'm like it, it it didn't build nothing like if he had maybe had a thanos movie maybe people would have been calm about the movie and stuff you know like right before this thanos movie you know one of those movies um when he with his you know story about his father and brother um like Star Fox or something like that. Y'all know about it. Y'all leave some comments down below. But um Yeah, he uh I'm trying to go get to every little part yet. Yeah, okay, got the stones. Um Yeah, yeah. Oh uh well let's let's just go ahead and get to to what happened, man. He he gets he gets all the stones and you know, right when he gets the last stone he rips you know, like, like he died, like Vision died twice. You know, they, they decided Vision wanted, you know, uh, Scarlet Witch to destroy the stone. So he, you know, he, she was blocking, you know, had powers on Thanos to block him, even though they couldn't get the other, he, you know, get the Black Order, but he, he, she had the power to block him a little bit with the stone. She's blocking uh, Thanos from getting uh, to Vision and destroying the mind stone on him and he, she did it but then you know he uh he already got the the time stone and Creative the reason you know time stone dr strange has a time stone he, he gives the time stone to thanos to save uh stark's life and he you know and everybody was like i know people were like why did he do that why did he reverse something to you know stop all this stuff he was you know had meditated and saw like 14 billion or million possibilities of what was going on and only one time they won. So the reason why he gave them this, that time stone because that was what one of those paths to them winning. It had to be. He has a plan. He already saw all this, you know, with all those possibilities, you know, what's going to happen after this and after this. So this is, you know, you know, things, some things have to lead up to this. You know, it's like this has to happen for this has to happen, you know. So he gave him the time stone. Um, so when Scarlet Witch destroyed it, he reversed all of that, man, and put it back in his head and took it out himself. So he can put it up there. And uh, <clears throat> then here comes, uh, as soon as he did it, put it on the gauntlet, Thor with the Stormbreaker through his chest, he said, you should have went for my head and snapped his finger. And there you go, man. People started, you know, just fading away, man. Spider-Man gone, Black Panther, um, uh, the, uh, Winter Soldier. This, I, I, I can't go through all of them. I can't remember, but you know, it, it was Groot. Uh, you know, just uh, was Scarlet Witch too. I think Scarlet Witch. The the main Avengers, original Avengers, didn't get, didn't uh, die, but uh, half of humanity. He did it, man. He's somewhere sitting. He talked to young Gamora, so he might evaporate himself too, man. He's existent, so he's probably might be, you know, wherever they're at. He's that too, you know, in death, in soul stone or something. I don't know, uh, but it happened and uh, it went off. That's how it, that's how it went off. It, so there's definitely a part two coming. Uh, there was one in credit scene with uh, Nick Fury and uh, one of the agents. Uh, they were just talking in the car, the car crashed and he realized nobody was in there. Then a, like a helicopter crashed and nobody was in there. And then, you know, one of the, the agents faded away and he's realizing, oh my God, Thanos did it. Half of humanity is evapor evaporating away. Um, so as soon as, you know, he started evaporating, he gets this beeper, old school beeper and pushes it. And then he says, mother, <laughs> try to put a little Samuel Jackson shit with it. And you realize he, he pages Captain Marvel. So this is, goes on to this. So I'm guessing, man, it's going to be some galactic type stuff. Captain Marvel, Marvel, Adam Warlock stuff might be in the next, you know, Infinity War movies or I mean Avengers movies, you know, Avengers 4, whatever. 
I'm, I'm just ready for this, man. I, I'm ready for Captain Marvel just to see the setup of that. You know, to you know, how does he know Captain Marvel and all this stuff? And people were like, well, why didn't he call Captain Marvel before all this stuff happened? Maybe it's all in Captain Marvel movie. He'll set up everything. Why he just calling her now? I don't know. Um, but the movie was good to me, man. It was entertaining. You know, I want, I want, I want to keep watching over and over again, man, because it was just so good and, and so beautiful, man, on screen. Just seeing everybody together fighting and doing stuff, even the villains, man. Um, some people had their problems about the visuals on the villains and stuff. I, I was cool with it. I'm like, they look uh, hot to me, man. Thanos looked real. The, you know, the Black Order looked real to me too, man. I didn't know if they had makeup and in the, the you know some of prosthetics some of the cg when they cut i didn't know back and forth it looked like good to me um but yeah the movie was good um and everything was was okay you know some people had their their you know res you know their problems with it but i i am a true fan of this movie and i recommend this movie to you know anybody that loves comic books and loves uh marvel uh characters and just you know just good action, emotion, music. Like it was, it was like thrilling. The, the music hit so good, man. It was like almost like a Japanese like horror movie when when it's like strings was playing and stuff. I was like, okay, we're going, you know, in this direction. This was good. Uh, Y'all, tell me what you thought about it, man. Did I miss some stuff? I know I did. Tell me stuff I missed. Tell me stuff you want to talk about it. Tell me why you hated it. Tell me, tell me why you loved it. I know you did in the other <laughs> video of mine. Uh, if you like my video, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and share. It's next time. I'm